When I was a kid, I think books were a life-saving thing for me. And I was kind of a troubled young person, a troubled teenager. And uh, so when I started to write, I wanted to write for other kids who were having the difficulties. Uh, and so that's how I got started. And so I've written six books for young adults. I'm just finishing up my seventh, and I've got two books for adults and a memoir about my troubled youth. Susan is um, uh, a very uh, valued member of our creative writing and journalism program. And uh, she, um, uh, I think, is a forerunner, a leader in the uh, young adult uh, fiction genre. There are not very many things that are as profound as finding your voice, figuring out how to tell your stories, figuring out that, you know, one thing that writing does is teach us that our stories matter and that we all need to feel like we matter. Sometimes this world we can feel sort of like cogs in a machine. But to find, uh, watch somebody figure out what their stories are, how best to tell them, all of that stuff is really, really, it's a beautiful thing. And I love watching students get excited about the possibilities for storytelling for them. Her students love her. They appreciate being in the presence of a very, very fine writer, but one who doesn't, uh, who, who encourages them and, 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 and I think uh, uh, helps them to see their, their own potential to be good writers. That um, influences my teaching too, is that I'm, there's still a part of me that's very excited that I'm a writer and amazed that I'm a published writer and I love bringing that into the classroom. Once Susan came to work here and I got to know her a little bit better and I realized just how great a colleague she was, uh, how generous she was with her time, how encouraging she was of young writers and the contribution she's made to both the VIU community and the wider writing community. I just thought she was a superb candidate for Nanaimo's Excellence in Culture Award. Oh, I'm immensely flattered and grateful. It's uh, wonderful to be recognized by, you know, the place where I live. Since I moved to Nanaimo, almost all of my stories have been set here, in Cedar, in um, the North End, in the South End. Um, so this is where my imagination lives now. This place has become very, very important in my creative process. So I'm grateful and, um, and honored to be recognized in this way.